the A220 known for its eco-friendliness. Furthermore, Traveler Solace is a well-known airplane model from Airbus and has been a unique advantage for carriers around the world anyway. Lately, the planes has confronted a progression of issues that all prompted a seriously risky one. Its motor, these motor issues, had caused the establishing of a few A220 Armadas, counting that of Air Baltic, causing huge functional disturbances for the carriers included. The timing couldn't be a lot of more terrible with the travel industry back on the ascent. However, that is not every one of these issues have likewise ignited worries about the airplane's capacity to keep up with its dynamic status in carrier armadas and its possible effects on the monetary well-being of aircrafts. It's so risky that specialists are contemplating if the A220 is needing another motor. So what is the reason for these motor issues in request to comprehend the motor is issues that the A220 is confronting. We first need to comprehend where the fly stands in the market. Since its presentation, the A220 has gathered massive fame as a state-of-the-art airplane that successfully spans the split between more modest territorial planes and bigger tight-bodied airplane for more limited territorial flights. It presents an ideal arrangement guaranteeing travelers can partake in the comfort and proficiency of flying straightforwardly to their objections. Then again, for longer courses, it gives an agreeable furthermore, extensive inside permitting explorers to encounter a more wonderful excursion without forfeiting reach or effectiveness? Just put the AI-220 offers. The best of the two universes, shockingly, the A-220 saw its ascent in prominence during the pandemic, where it immediately became one of the most dynamic airplane on the planet. That is on the grounds that the fly was generally youthful, it offered lower traveler limit and the effectiveness of the plane kept fuel costs down. So at the hour of the pandemic, a surprising 93.8% of the Armada was functional as of June 2023. The A220 family flaunts an incredible 806 firm requests from 30 distinct customers around the world, with Delta carriers standing out anyway in spite of these enormous orders. Overall, the A220 is by all accounts controlled by its very lifesaver, its motor. So what is happening there? Why does the A220 need another motor? Well, the fly has two issues with regards to its motor. The clearest issue is that the A220 is at present utilizing Pratam. Whitney PW1500G stuff turbo fan. Moreover, known as GTF, the GTF motor family has shown promising execution. Yet while it offers amazing eco-friendliness, it has been tormented by unwavering quality issues, explicitly when estimated by time on wing or toe, and the productivity of support fix and update, or MRO processors. There have been some unmistakable challenges. However, as all of you know, the flying industry is an intricate biological system, though single parts disappointment can trigger a fountain of issues. As a result, carriers have been confronting troubles in gathering their responsibilities to travelers in pinnacle travel periods. Because of limit requirements, these motors' inventory network issues have prompted the establishing of a few A220 flies and has caused some serious issues to carriers since these airplanes are currently put away during a pinnacle travel period. Carriers are compelled to reusing more established planes, keeping more established units longer in activity or what Air Baltic is doing. Leasing airplanes from other organizations, the circumstances further convoluted by the way that the A220 is solely controlled by Pratom Whitney, it shares a similar destiny as the Embraer. E2 family, this implies the Airbus can't essentially change to an alternate motor to resolve the issues this eliteness powers Airbus to remain focused on PNW for the A2, 2100 and the 300. They should work intimately with PNW to track down an answer a cycle that could require some investment and assets anyway in the midst of the current motor inventory network. Difficulties Air Baltic, like numerous different carriers, remains hopeful about the future. They anticipate their motor buildup to clear by 2025, offering a promise of something better for smoother activities ahead for administrators with huge armadas of more up-to-date. A 220 Airbus, and there is far superior news not too far off, Reports propose that motor dependability for later A220 models has seen checked upgrades. This implies that these more up-to-date A220 can invest a lengthy energy and in administration prior to requiring critical upkeep. 
So then it's simply a matter of time before the A220 has managed every one of its concerns, right? Well, not exactly in spite of the reassuring advancements, it creates the impression that the A220 is confronting a not really self-evident yet intense issue for their PNW outfitted superfans to comprehend this. We really want to go to India's Go First aircraft with their bigger PW. 1100 gram motors, which power the A320. Neo Airplane, you see working airplanes in areas with blistering damp and dusty climate can introduce exceptional troubles for carriers. These circumstances can put extra weight on the motors, prompting potential execution. Gives this is precisely what befell the A320. Neo of Go First aircrafts with its PW. 1,010G motors. Luckily for Airbus, the A320, NEO isn't select to PNW. The NEO is likewise cooperating with CFM Jump for its motor. Anyway, it's as yet unfortunate for aircrafts that are working the NEO with a PNW motor. Knowing this, you're presumably thinking about how does this relate back to the A220. Well, that is since in Iraq, the nation's thoughtful flying controller, has taken a wary approach and mentioned Iraqi aircrafts to briefly suspend all of its A22300 activities. The purpose for this suspension is to permit adequate time for the finish of examination systems, yet that not all, as it's too actually significant, that comparable occurrences have been accounted for in Africa too, as indicated by airspace. Africa, both Air Tanzania and Air Senegal have too experienced A220 motor disappointments. They eliminated their A220 motors before the jet's 1,000th landing, despite the fact that the motor is intended for 5,260 arrivals in spite of the fact that we actually need to trust that the examination will close. You can't resist the urge to feel that this is a serious matter that should be taken genuinely. These two significant issues are turning out to be more apparent to aircrafts. However, the fact that you see the motor makes it not just issues have likewise had a monetary effect. Aircrafts have needed to bear the expenses of assessments fixes and now and again complete motor substitutions. This has stressed their assets when many are as yet recuperating from the monetary aftermath of the Co-19 pandemic. In any case, the repercussions reach out past the aircrafts working the A220. The unwavering quality issues have brought up issues about the PW 1,500 gram motor reasonableness for the airplane possibly influencing future deals in spite of the A220's numerous qualities, carriers might be reluctant to buy an airplane known for motor issues. One thing is clear, the A220 needs another motor, and it needs it soon. The inquiry presently isn't to, if however, when also, how this will happen. This consuming question frames an intriguing point which forces us to take a gander at the more extensive industry picture, where ceaseless development is the situation in this setting, the aeronautics business is continually developing. An Airbus, a Titan in the field is no exemption. The organization is thinking about another expansion to its armada, the A22500, a higher limit variation of the single walkway fly. Airbus chief Gilliam Fowry has recognized that the extended A220 checks out. However, timing is critical in spite of the expanding motor issues, the organization is not racing into the send-off of the A22500 selecting to painstakingly consider the market elements and the status of the industry. For such a model, the A22500 is expected to haul around 170 travelers. With a little expansion in fuselage length, its reach could be no less than 6,000 kilometers, which would put the airplane at a reasonable benefit over models, for example, the Boeing 737 MAX 7 and the A319neo. This potential new model could upset the flying business, offering carriers a more productive and higher limit choice for their armadas. The A22500 isn't simply an idea. Carriers like Air France and Korean Air have proactively shown their in thoughtfulness regarding have a higher limit, A220. This interest from significant aircraft shows areas of strength for a potential for the A22500. Anyway, Airbus is still dealing with arriving at the equal, the initial investment point of the A220 program, which is gained from Bombardier quite a while back when it was called the C-Series. This is supposed to happen around mid-decade, once enhancements to its creation processes are finished anyway. Airbus probably will need to push this timetable to future evidence. It's a 220 program, yet notwithstanding every one of the issues. 
The A220 has previously demonstrated its worth in the business. Since its entrance into administration in 2016, it has stirred up the single passageway market with its functional execution, which administrators viewed as surprisingly good as far as dispatch times and fuel-consumed travelers. Furthermore, Group have likewise answered decidedly to the new airplane, which has in short order laid out areas of strength for a standing. The A220 family had fared better compared to most airplane during the continuous COVID pandemic. Its lower limit and higher functional effectiveness have made it an ideal airplane for the short-take market over the course of the past year. This has delivered the A220, a very rare example of airplane that can be viewed as a champ of the pandemic, establishing the groundworks for a brilliant future for the plane. Anyway, the send-off of the A22500 isn't without its difficulties. Airbus would have to consider a potential detail conflict with its current items, assuming it were to stretch the A220 further to not rip apart itself. We have seen this with the current A22300. Currently, the 300 is basically the same with regards to go also. Ability to Airbus is a 319 Neo. Anyway, the A319neo has created lower orders, contrasted with different individuals from the Neo family, and the primary driver could in light of its similitude with the 300. So if Airbus somehow happened to extend its A220 to the A22500, a comparative conflict might occur with one more individual from the Neo family. The inquiry presently is should Airbus assemble the A22500, the interest from Air Baltic furthermore, Air France makes a convincing business case the two carriers have shown a solid inclination for the A220 with their Baltic supplanting its more established Boeing 737s for an all-a-220. Armada and Air France submitting a sizable A220 request to supplant its more seasoned A318 in a 319 models anyway. Airbus should guarantee that the A220500 and the A320neo will not coincidentally undermine each other. This sensitive equilibrium to be kept up with Carson demeanor of tension on the following stages in the industry, and especially on the A220S direction. In light of this point, the Airbus A220S venture is at an essential point. The requirement for another motor is clear given the issues with the Pratt. What's more, Whitney PW 1,500 grams. Airbus faces a difficult choice. Foster another motor or send off another variation? The A22500, by the same token way, it's an unquestionable necessity to guarantee the A220s proceeded with progress. This intersection is a demonstration of the powerful idea of flying, where development and adaption are vital.